What's happening everyone? Welcome back to The Shed. My name is John McGrath and today I want to talk to you about my new Triton Dual Action Plunger Owner. This is a 1400 watt model which comes with a quarter inch and 8 mm collets. I ran into a problem with this particular router on my latest guitar project. Now the router itself is fantastic, it does everything well, but when it comes to guide bushes, using them with templates, I had a little problem. And I have a solution for you that might save you a few pounds. Now Triton provide a 12 piece guide bush pack, but it's only available in Imperial. So you're going to have to go with another manufacturer and try and get them to fit this particular router um, if you're going to use it that way. So let me get you in for a closer look. Let me show you what I came up with, the solution I found. This will actually save you a few pounds and uh, it'll allow you to use metric guide bushes, which are metric templates if you're working on guitars or other projects. So I get you in for a closer look now and we go through this. Okay guys, first off, what are guide bushes and why, we, why do we need to use them? Okay, this is an 18 millimeter guide bush from Trend. Now 18 millimeters refers to the center hole here. This is designed to run on the edge of a template and your cutter is designed to sit in the middle of this. So this diameter will keep your cutter a set distance off the template and the template will be designed to be used with a specific guide bush and cutter. So for instance this particular template is designed to be used with this 18 millimeter guide bush that runs around inside it with a 10 mil cutter inside and that's designed to cut you a perfect hole to fit this guy in. Now, there's an other type of cutter that you can use which is ones that have a bearing on them. Now the bearings are the exact same size as the cutting blade, the exact same diameter, so they're designed to run along the edge of a template also. But the problem is, if you buy a template online that's designed to be used with a guide bush and you run that around your template, you will cut the hole exactly the same size as this, which as you can see is no good. That's about a six mil gap either side of this guy, right? So this 18 mil guide bush with this 10 mil cutter protruding from the center will cut or route a hole that's six mil off this um, template all around. Hopefully that makes sense. So the problem I ran into working on my latest guitar project I bought this tone bar or fur bar from Granger um, Guitar Parts in the UK. They're an engineering company. They're actually fantastic. They're very well engineered and they are to the millimeter. So I've had no problem installing this in the guitar. That's in a previous video if you want to check it out. But the problem I did run into is this Triton router. Triton don't make metric guide bushes for the Triton router. They do a 12 piece pack, as I said already, which has one metric guide bush in it, which is a 30 mil. Everything else is in Imperial. So I've had to go for a different product. Now the Triton pack costs about 80 to 90 euro, I think. I'm not sure what that is in dollars, but Trend do a universal base. So if you can see that there, that's what I bought. Trend do supply their guide bushes with um, metric guide or they do just supply them in metric sorry i can't speak so i opted for this option this was about 25 euros i think and then our guide bush was about seven or eight euros i think something like that so it's a big save and you can buy the guide bushes as you need them not all part of a pack okay what we'll do now is actually give you a look at this universal base and what comes with it and how you set it up with this triton router now this will work for multiple routers, multiple makes and models. So if you're having this problem, this is a good option for you. So this is the Triton, or this is the Trend Uni Base. As you can see, it's full of holes. So you will find a hole to line up with your router. Um, they might be slightly offset. They mightn't be directly opposite each other. It depends on the model of router that you have, but it does actually work with this Triton router. I didn't think it would at first, but I got it to work. Another very important thing is we have to line this up exactly center with our chuck on this guy, if that's not the case, our cutting edge will not be center of our guide bush and then it won't work with our template. We'll get a hole that's not the right size. So what we'll do now is we'll get in for a closer look on this. We'll disassemble what we need to disassemble on the router. We'll set this up and we'll be ready then to use it in this template. So we'll do that now. Okay guys, we're going to fit our trend plate to the bottom of our Triton router now and we're going to get everything lined up so everything is dead center and we can actually use our guide bush. So the first thing is just a small bit of disassembly. You just need to take off the four screws from the Triton uh, base plate, remove that. You will also need to pull out the bolts that are on either side of your Triton um, router base. These are ones for holding on the, the jig that comes with the Triton router. Um, you won't need this, they will be in the way. So it's just screws with a spring, pull these out, set them aside, keep them somewhere safe. Now we can fit our Triton 
base plate. So what I'm going to do is lower this razor chuck and we're going to fit. This is a guide bush. This is our centering guide bush that comes with the plate. So we need to fix that to our plate. Um, it's just with two screws. The trend kit comes with multiple screws, so it will have screws to fit your router depending on the type of tread that's in your router plate, all right? So it's very straightforward. Just two countersunk flathead screws, just for holding this on. So we'll tread them in. Okay, that's our trend lineup bush fitted, nice and simple. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install one of these guys, this is a guide, you get a quarter inch one and a half inch one. This is a quarter inch one, so that's the one I'm gonna use. And that's designed to slot straight into the end of your lineup guide bush. That sits into your chuck. So we can just slot him in there. Very simple, don't need to tighten it, I'm just hand tighten it. This is gonna allow us to line up this guy with our center. So slot him on, now we know that it's centered. So what we want to do now is rotate this until we find two screw holes that line up. That's the, all I could get to line up on this um, Triton base was just two holes. And they're slightly offset, but it did work. So let me just keep rotating this. It's a bit of a puzzle, but at least we know we're centered and we're good. There we go. Right, so our holes, maybe the camera might be able to see this. So we're here and we're here. Um, trend do well, like I say, provide you with multiple screws. So these are the two we're going to use. These are the ones that fit the Triton base. So it's just a case of tread them in. Tighten everything down, nice and simple. Now we can remove our guide bush lineup bush. A lot of bushes. Just take him out. Okay, after a little bit of struggling, we got our our lineup cutter out. So now you will need to before you put on your guy bush plate, you will need to fix your fit your cutting blade. So this is just a 10 mil blade. I'm only going to hand tighten it for now. So um, I'm not actually going to use this, but um, so get your cutter in first before you put on our guide bush. We know everything is dead center now, so I'm going to drop my 18mm guide bush in place. Again, two screws. There we go, nice and simple. So we have an 18mm guide bush, we have a 10mm cutter inside, and it's dead center of our guide bush. Now, that will allow us to run this guy around this template, and uh, that will allow me to install my ferrule bar. Right, so nice and simple. Trend uni base, trend metric guide bushes for your Triton router. If you're stuck with a Triton router and you can't find metric guide bushes, then trend is a good option. It works. Um, the Triton router is a fantastic router. I can recommend them. They're so easy to use. They're plenty of power in them and uh, they've got plenty of great features. I'll do a separate video on all that. But for now, this is just a problem I encountered and something I wanted to share with G in case he gets stuck on this problem too. Right, on to the next one. There we go, guys. That's just a quick video on the problem I ran into with my Triton router when it came to metric guide bushes uh, during my guitar building project. It slowed me down, so hopefully this will help you guys out and won't slow you down. It's a good option. The Trend Unibase works and the Trend guide bushes work well, so... It's happy days all around there. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if this has been helpful to you. You can follow me on Instagram. All the links will be in the description below. Um, I've been John McGrath. It's been incredibly hot again today, so i got to get out of here now. We'll talk to you in the next one.